Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to permanently, or at your will, you can turn it back on, but disable system updates on your headset. So you can turn off automatic updates. I know that version 47 just came out, and for some people it broke uh, the developer mode, and I know people just want to be able to turn off automatic updates so they're not forced into getting the updates. And they can decide when they're ready to get an update. Wait till other people have gotten it, make sure all the bugs are worked out, uh, and get the update when they want it. In order to do this, you're going to need to sideload File Manager Plus. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing it, but this is the easiest, I think. And you get the advantage bonus of having File Manager Plus, which is a great app. So you're going to use SideQuest to sideload file manager plus and your headset is going to need to be in developer mode i'll provide a couple links to videos on how to do that very very easy stuff uh, and now once you've sideloaded file manager plus you can just install apps right inside the headset so you can use your browser the regular browser and go to like apk pure or apk mirror and you can search for apps like here is i don't want that google play services won't work i tried that but let's say you want to do install chrome uh, boom, you can download it from one of those app sites, Chrome, click install it, and you've got Chrome sideloaded on here. Now, to uninstall an app, you just click on apps. Let's say I wanted to uninstall Chrome, just long press it, and then click uninstall. You can also back up apps. So let's say I wanted to back up BMBF or Bone Labs or any of these other apps that I've got in here. Um, you can just back it up and then save it elsewhere. Another quick advantage to having file manager plus is you can set up like cloud locations so let's say i wanted to add a cloud storage you can add dropbox google drive OneDrive, box and then you can easily transfer transfer your videos let's say you've got your video shots you can just grab them copy them and then go over and put them in your dropbox or if you've got like a nas i've got a synology with a ton of storage i can go over here and just transfer my screenshots or whatever it's super super useful uh, but let's get back to the task at hand, and that's disabling uh, your automatic updates. So click on all, click on apps, and click on all, and you're going to go down here to Oculus OS Updater. And from there, we're going to be able to disable it. So Oculus OS Updater, just tap it real quick. Don't long press it. Give it a tap, and then click on disable. So actually, it was disabled. Click disable, and confirm it. Disable app, and then boom. You're good to go. It is disabled. And this is a persistent change, meaning that if you restart your headset, it will continue to be disabled. And pardon my voice, I've got a bit of a cold, so my nose is a bit stuffy. But now check this out. When we go over here and we go over to settings and we go over to software update, it will just go round and round and round and round. It will not be able to check for updates. So your headset will not update. And then to re-enable it, just go back over to File Manager Plus, Apps, Oculus OS updater and enable it again. And boom, you are good to go. So that is it. Quick, short, sweet video. If you guys have any questions, ask down in the comments below and I will leave links to everything you need down there. That's it and I will see you in the next video.